The Bible says, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall never pass away. It never grows old that Jesus saves. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's salvation. That's the salvation. When Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You're not going to go another way. It's that plain and simple. You will not go another way. And when you're going down a road and the road says one way, you've got to go one way or you're going to cause an accident. And Jesus said, I am the way. That's it. And when Jesus says, I am the way, there is no other way. Listen, hell is real. And heaven is much real. As Jesus Christ is real. It's not no old religion. It's not no you know, fairy tale. You're not going to convince me of that. I'm a living Christian saved by the blood and I'm excited. And you can't take that joy away. And you're miserable, you're rotten, you're angry, you're rude, you're, you're crude. And, oh, it's because you don't have Jesus. You have not the Holy Spirit. And I feel sorry for you. I'm sorry that your alcohol is what pleases you. I'm sorry your drugs is what pleases you. Because what pleases me is Jesus. What gets me sick is the world that we live in. But you're not going to surprise me when you try anything you can to shut the preaching. I'm still going to preach. I'm still going to find a way to preach the word. I mean, it's by your constitution I'm able to preach. Thank you for that. And the Bible says, go all the world and preach the gospel. That Jesus saves. I'm not here preaching, you know, anything but Jesus. And the preaching of the cross may ruin your business, but it can save your soul. Now, would you rather make $5 or would you rather go to heaven and not go to hell? And I know what your answer is. Shut the preacher up. We want to make five bucks. I know that. You're not going to fool me. But you know what my answer is? Shut the five bucks away and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved and don't go to hell. The preaching of the cross is far better than making a profit. Because you're not going to get that profit in hell. What, what shall a man exchange for his soul? A stupid piece of art? You're not going to take that art with you into hell. Somebody's going to fight over what you bought today when you die because they want it. And you're not going to take it. You may die with clothes on you in a coffin, but you didn't put those clothes on. You're not going to appear before God with a wallet. The Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. And you're not going to take merchandise with you. It is not he with the most toys in the, in the end wins. It's he that believes on the Lord Jesus Christ wins. And there's no other way. It's the Lamb of God which takes away the sin of the world. It is Jesus Christ that is God approved. It is the glory of God that Jesus Christ will not a, Jesus Christ will save your soul if you call upon him if you repent of your sins. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. 
cash, check, money order, whatever is not going to get you in the gates of heaven. There's a rich man in the Bible. He said, oh, look how great I am. Look how wonderful. I've got all this merchandise. I'm going to go get me some self uh, uh, centers. I'm going to go get me some uh, uh, rental places. I'm going to get me, I'm going to build and build and build and get me storage places. And I'm going to get me more storage places. And the Bible says that God told him, Thou fool, thy soul shall be accounted for tonight. And all your labor and all your gold and all your silver and all your goods is not going to redeem you out of hell. Not when the Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. You are without hope, without Jesus. Because the Bible says Jesus Christ is the blessed hope. I know, that's my life verse. And aren't you glad that my life verse... What are you talking about, preacher? Oh man, I don't even remember. How many years ago, the doctor proclaimed that I had emphysema. And the doctor told me I was going to die within six months. And Titus 2.13 became my life verse. That was years ago. Aren't you glad that God gave me good health to live, that you might be able to hear the gospel? Aren't you God that, great that God has given me? Hey, no, you're not going to die, because I know you're going to go and preach my word. I need you. No, God don't need me. God uses me. Because I'm willing to use my mouth for Jesus. And again, don't tell me, oh, I love Jesus and you hate to preach. And you, you don't like his word. You don't have his word in you. So you don't have God in you. You're being harsh. No, I'm preaching the Bible. And this Bible's not preaching your pulpit. You need to find a new church. You need a King James blood-centered wash. And only by Jesus Christ are you able to be so... You have to shut your microphone off. I can turn it down. It's illegal. I can turn it down. Oh, you can, I coming. can hear their music. Turn, turn, go tell them to turn their music down, and I'll come over here, and I'll turn it down for you. The music is part of the program. No, th no that guy's bar over there, or a smoke shot, that's not part of your program. It's a store that's there all the time. Tell him to turn his down. I'll turn. No, my... I'm telling you to turn your microphone. You go tell him to turn his down music. because he's not part of your program. When he turns his down, I'll turn mine down. Okay? You keep your music. I'm not going to confess with your music, but you tell his music. Lady, I, I've done this for six years. I know what the lights are. Hey, number one, Jesus. All right. Glory to God. Number one, Jesus saves. Marvel not, my brethren. The world hates you. Know that it hated me first. Scorners. Ridiculers. That's Bible. And I was telling you how to find the right proper church. But before you find the right proper church, find Jesus Christ. And believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. And only by Jesus Christ are you able to be saved. Now it's plain and simple because... If I turn off the application, I've got a loud voice to preach Jesus and use it for Jesus. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I love Jesus. And who you love, you proclaim. I am a born-again, Bible-believing Christian. I am washed in the blood. How about you? If you were to die, where would you go? Don't be too quick to say heaven, because you will not get to heaven without Jesus Christ. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. You must be born again to be saved. Your baptism can't save you. Your works cannot save you. The Bible said not of works, 
least any man boasts. For by grace are you saved through faith. It's not us. You know, I, I just want to say something. I believe in Jesus Christ, and I believe in what you're doing. But you know what? I'm going to tell you something. These people paid $300, $400 for their boost here, sir. And you know what? I appreciate your preaching. But please, this cannot go on. The rich man. I, no, no, it doesn't matter. They're not rich. They're not poor. They believe in God. And you know what? Please, please go and do this somewhere no. else. Please. No. Please. Proverbs chapter 1 says. Oh, honey. You know what? And you You're say you love Jesus. Heart. You don't even want to hear the Bible. I, no, he, I have read the you Bible. You do not have word. the word in no, your heart. So I do. you do not have the Bible. I do, but I don't believe it's uh, right Go to all the world and preach no. the gospel. This no. is the world. No, but this is not good. No, it's good. This no. is what all the apostles did in the book of Acts. They went everywhere. Paul is preaching before a God statue. and saying, this is not God. You don't have his words. You need his words, and Jesus is the word. Yeah, I have a word for you, all right. Oh. Well, that's not Christian-like. Someone who loves Jesus is going to speak like that. Wow, that's a poor testimony, folks. And the Bible says that there's another Jesus. And the true biblical Jesus is one that is holy and righteous. God said, be holy, for I am holy. Are you Christian? I'm a born-again Bible-believing Christian. I'm born-again Christian. I'm a baby Christian. Amen. And I'm learning about Christ all the time. Amen. But what I do know about Christ is a gentleman. And you're just learning. The Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. He wouldn't argue with people because and make them nervous and upset. I know he would. Well, you can't also be a panty waist. That woman is telling me that she's I, I a Christian. She don't act like he, He's a gentleman, and he wouldn't. He does. He. Whole he generation of vipers, and screaming so at the Pharisees. I'm, I'm concerned. So, like, God's going to take all Christians to heaven when, whether death or by rapture. No, he's going to leave a lot behind. Christians? Christians, because just because they say then they're Christians. you are not a Bible-believing Christian. Then Those that are they saved, go. Christians are not really Christians. Well, then you Christians. haven't studied your Bible enough. I have. Because when the rapture happens, he's going to call all those in Christ. All those in Christ. But if but he'll know who's a real Christian. That's not. that's definitely true, yes. Right, right? you agree the with The unsaved, who are not Christians, will be left behind. Even though they say they're a Christian. Even though, yes, correct. Yes. So, so they, on that point, but, you're right. But Jesus is a gentleman. He, he was a gentleman, he but not, he also got angry. He also rebuked. Yeah, See, he, 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 he you wouldn't want say? you to fight with that lady. Hey, he really it's throughout the Bible. You're actually. Doing, I'm not going to let that woman live. You're I, doing more harm than you are good towards. No. Yes, you are. No. All right. Why did Jesus tell the Pharisees, "You vipers and, and hypocrites"? And I pray for I pray for you today, and Jesus told amen. me to speak to you. He has spoken to me. He but you've got to also put up a battle. Don't, hey, sir, wait a minute, one more thing, sir, one more thing. Don't we have a Christian armor, the sword, the, the breastplate, the helmet? So why would we have armor if we're not supposed to be in a battle? No, that's not the battle. Oh, it's the battle of the world. Keep growing. You got, you got much growing to do, sir. I mean, the Bible says again, marvel not if the world hates you. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ first. That's it. That's the means, first of all, to get to heaven. Listen, the Apostle Paul, sir, was beaten and was bruised and was... Listen, he told a church... A church. Paul told the church, have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? <laughs> and it's sorry that we got to battle other Christians, but hey, when we're on the streets and people are watching, you got to properly, you got to rebuke them. That woman came up and said, oh, I'm a Christian and hates the word of God. No, you're not a Christian according to the scripture. But that I'm going right back to where we're going to. I'm going back to the gospel. I'm preaching the gospel. I'm preaching salvation through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. And you're going to see people get upset. And you're going to watch me rebuke them. You're going to see me reprove them. And that's scripture.
And believe it or not, I'm trying to help them to get out of the improper way, whatever way they are, whether they're saved or lost. And right now, to the lost people, we are preaching that you do not go to hell, and how not to go to hell is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And you're going to... Well, my church doesn't do what you do. Your churches are whipping and closing, and churches are in the world today. When the Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. That's exactly what I'm doing. And the gospel is, Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. Now, what is aggravating about that? Now, you may be aggravated because I say your church can't save you. You may be aggravated that your baptism can't save you. You may be aggravated that I'm kicking whatever God you're believing in. But tough. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. I wish I didn't have to fight with people. Many of you just walk by and listen and say, that guy, was, he's an idiot. That guy ain't got a half a brain. That guy's stupid. You just move on. Some people come up to me and say, Amen, glory to God, I'm glad what you're doing. And those that don't have Christ will come up and... Oh, la, la, la. They come up like Godzilla with a small G. And I have a right to defend through scriptures and tell you what the scriptures say, and you get madder because the scriptures go against what you believe, what you have been taught, then that's perfectly tough. Because the Bible's right, heaven and earth will pass away, but my word shall never pass away, and whatever you want, whatever you do, will go away by by one day. And I'm telling you, that way for Christ will last, and your salvation only in Jesus Christ will be settled forever. Listen, you ought to be happy. There's a DJ happy I'm not preaching over where he is right now. That guy's probably overjoyed. Why are you not even singing today? But you know, it's, you know, it's a, we're, we're in art. And I had more culture with the Bikers Week last week than I did with you guys. Man, the bikers came up, shook my hand, they talked about Christianity, they asked me about how to be saved, and they were with me. And you elegant people, ah! sound Catholic to me. I can say that because I was Catholic. I dealt with a Catholic family. If you were truly saved and loved the Lord and did right, you'd be, amen, brother, keep on preaching. Ah. Because the Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. The Bible says Jesus is to be praised. Jesus is to be uplifted. It's to the glory of honor of Jesus Christ. You just don't like the preachers going home yet. It's going, it's going off after dinner time. He's still preaching. I'm having a good time. I love Jesus. I love preaching about Jesus. I can't shut up about Jesus. And when I get to glory, and if you're to believe on Jesus and get to glory, it will be all about Jesus. There will be no World Series in heaven. Glory to God, thank you. There will be no race car guys going around, right, 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 right. It will be all to the glory of Jesus Christ. I mean, if you're saved, or if you will get saved, glory to it will be all about Jesus how we're preaching today. And believe it or not, the street preaching you're hearing today is in the Bible. And Jeremiah, for his street preaching, they put him in jail. Jeremiah had at least one friend. The prophet Jeremiah preached in Judah like I'm preaching today, and he had only one friend. And everybody hated him. And he preached against Christmas tree. And he preached against Mary, I mean, the mother the queen of heaven. Read it, Jeremiah. It's in the middle of your Bible. The Apostle Paul, in the book of Acts, was at an idol of the idol worshippers, and he points at that idol, he says, that can't get you to heaven. Jesus can. And then preached. 
Jesus, I mean, Paul went into the synagogues, and when they said, anybody got anything to say? He would raise his hand or something say, and preach Jesus. I'm not that bad, folks. I'm not going to go into your church and disrupt the church service. I thought about it, but I won't. I'll do it on the streets. And you don't realize the love that we have for your souls. That we are here. Listen, I could be somewhere right now more important. But Jesus is more important. I love my wife, but I love your souls more. I don't want you to go to hell. And I am angry that there are beliefs out there to deceive you. And we're here to say that there is one way. And Jesus said, I am the way. And that's it. That is it. What do you think God gave me a great voice for? I'm not going to use it for the world. I'm going to use it to proclaim that Jesus saves. Is it annoying that somebody wants you to be saved after you die? Yes, the Bible said it will be annoying. Many of you want the broad way, few of you want the way. And knowing the Bible says, marvel not, the world hates you. It's going to hate you. Good. But I'd rather have you be annoyed and be saved. And then be tickled here and go to hell. I'm not here to tickle your ears. I'm here to preach Jesus. And the preaching of Jesus is what makes you angry. And if it makes you angry, you need to check your heart if you proclaim to be a Christian. Because the fruit of the Spirit is love. People say, oh, you want to have more love. You don't. Because if you had the love of God, when a man preaches God, you'd be like, hey, all right, glory to God. Only Jesus saves. Amen. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Because there is a hell. And there is a heaven. And the only way to get to heaven is through Jesus. Thank you. Good intentions and good thoughts don't get you to heaven. They get you to hell. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. All is not well. There is a hell. And you will go there without Jesus. But you can go to heaven by your faith and belief. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. I think that guy got angry. The one with the dog. He came over to see if I have amplification. I don't. It's me. He showed you his phone. His dogs run around with no leash on. If that was the police. I'm not doing it. would be to the glory of God if you were to believe on Jesus. It is to the glory. Check his ears too. It's God's glory. God's glory is not you. God's God glory you. is Jesus. Catholic, God. God bless you. See, there are people like us preaching. I'm good. Thank you. The Bible says there is none that good. The only good one is Jesus. The only one that can save you is Jesus. Your only hope is Jesus. 
Your water of life is Jesus. Your salvation is to be Jesus. And without Jesus, it's hell. H-E-L-L. -L. And some of you have been in the church and you never heard those words. That's a shame. Jesus said and preached that there was a hell. And that without Jesus, you will go to hell. Plain and simple. God's glory, God's salvation is Jesus. There is no other salvation than that in Jesus. Don't think you're going to Je don't think you're going to heaven without Jesus because you won't. Don't hope to get to heaven without Jesus because Jesus is the blessed hope. And when you rely on a man that will get you to heaven, he's a sinner, for the Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, whether it be a preacher, pastor, rabbi, or whoever. But the Roman government proclaimed Jesus, I find no fault in him, three times. And the Bible proclaims His holiness, His sin, sinlessness, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. I got it. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life. So Jesus Christ, our Lord, I believe Jesus. the blessed hope is Jesus Christ. The glorious hope is Jesus Christ. That you back on me for kill people. 